The Fox 44 Weather Forecast with Weather Rage Certified Meteorologist Emily Kay. Good Friday evening, everyone. We're starting to clear out here in Central Texas. We did see mostly cloudy skies earlier today, but if we take a look outside on our Syntex Seamless Gutter Sky Tracker, you can start to see a lot of that sunshine coming through, those clouds moving on out, and we'll have mostly sunny skies as we head into the weekend. Let's take a look at the live radar across all of Texas and even parts of Louisiana and you can see Hurricane Delta just minutes away from making landfall in Louisiana minutes away from that eye wall coming on shore again seeing a lot of gusty winds as it starts to move into parts of Louisiana but here in central Texas we're actually starting to see our skies clearing up and again no rain for us right now across all of the area not seeing even any of those outer bands of the storm moving through mostly clear down in the Brazos Valley mostly clear here along I-35 we're not going to see any rain as we head throughout the rest of the evening. Maybe a shower or two down in the Brazos Valley. Isolated, really that chance not too great as we head into tonight. High today get all the way into the mid to upper 80s. 88 degrees here in Waco, 85 degrees down near College Station. 85 degrees in Temple for the high today, so another warm day. It's going to be even warmer as we head into tomorrow. Temperatures right now into the mid 80s, 87 degrees in Waco, 85 degrees down in Temple, 82 degrees down in College Station. And as we head throughout the rest of the night, we're going to see some gusty winds. So winds about 10 to 15 miles per hour out there, a little gustier down in the Brazos Valley as they get some of those uh, tropical storm winds from Hurricane Delta, about 20 miles per hour down near College Station and is making it a lot muggier out there. So as uh, Hurricane Delta moves on shore, we're starting to see a lot of that tropical moisture moving into our area. Tro uh, Hurricane Delta also a category two hurricane winds about 100 miles per hour, and you can see exactly where it's starting to go. Again, we're just minutes away from the eye making landfall in parts of Louisiana, and you can see exactly where that track is heading as we head throughout the next several days, going into parts of Mississippi and then eventually into Tennessee as an upper level low. But like I was saying here in Central Texas, our impacts are very minimal. It's really just going to make it muggy as we head throughout the next few days and giving us a chance to see our highs get into the upper 90s. So if we take a look at that future cast for the rest of the night tonight, temperatures falling back down into the 70s and into the upper 60s right around midnight. Mostly clear skies as we head throughout the rest of your uh, Friday evening into your Saturday morning, waking up to temperatures in the mid 60s by Saturday morning. But don't let those temperatures fool you because check out what happens as we head into the afternoon. Mostly sunny skies right around lunchtime. We'll see our highs getting into the lower 80s, which is actually or temperatures getting into the lower 80s. This is usually where we see our highs for this time of year. We're going to get even warmer than that as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures getting back into the upper 80s, even in the lower 90s in some areas before falling back down into the 70s right around midnight. And then by Sunday morning, waking up to temperatures only in the upper 60s and lower 70s. So a warm start to the day. A very muggy day as we head throughout the day on Sunday, and it's only going to get warmer than that. So look at what those temperatures will be right around lunchtime on Sunday. The upper 80s with mostly sunny skies. It's going to feel even warmer than that out there, and it just gets hotter and hotter as we head throughout the rest of the day. Those highs getting into the mid to upper 90s. Some areas west of I-35 may even reach the century mark as we head into the afternoon. Possibly a record-breaking day. Our last uh, record-breaking high here in Waco was about 98 degrees back in 1991. So it's going to be a hot day as we head into Sunday, but not tonight. Overnight tonight, temperatures getting into the mid-60s, mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, highs getting back into the lower 90s, mostly sunny out there as well. A hot day tomorrow, even hotter on Sunday. So if we take a look at that 10-day forecast uh, brought to you by WC Tractor, we'll see if that pops up here in a second. There we go. It took a second. It's lagging because it's so hot. On Sunday, I just didn't want to show you guys, temperatures getting into the upper 90s before falling back down into the upper 80s on Monday. So we briefly see our temperatures returning to what it feels like in the summer. It's fall, I promise you, and as we head into midweek next week, we will actually fall back down to where we're supposed to be for this time of year. Temperatures getting into the mid 80s. By next weekend, we'll fall back down into the upper 70s. It's going to start feeling like fall again, and that's going to be a very similar thing for the Bryan College Station 10-day forecast. Temperatures getting into the mid-90s on Sunday before falling back down into the 80s over midweek next week, and then eventually back into the upper 70s. But at least we have mostly sunny skies for the next 10 days. Adam, the 90s, not too pretty, but overall, at least it's mostly sunny.